When you look at the IBM Cloud strategy, we really have a spectrum of capabilities because we can support clients that want to do many things. Some clients want to have bare metal. They want to take their application, their environment, and they want to run it on bare metal and have total control. And really what they're looking for is they're just looking for the infrastructure that we can provide them. Other clients, they want to run on the public cloud and they want all of the economics that come along with running on a public cloud instead of them having to build and buy all of the uh, infrastructure that they need to run their business. There are other clients that want to connect and the notion of hybrid comes in. I've got a new mobile application and I want to connect my mobile application to my back-end transaction system. Maybe I want data from my inventory system, maybe I want access to my bank account or to be able to do a banking transaction. And then there's other clients that want to build private clouds. They understand the inherent efficiency of building a private cloud, but maybe for regulatory reasons or for data locality, sovereignty reasons, they have to have the data in their data center, but they want to be able to run a private cloud. We're really the only provider that provides everything from the public all the way to the private, and we can pull it together in ways that others cannot. And we can help clients bridge that transformation. And for the enterprise, they don't have the ability to start over again. They have to integrate with the trillions of dollars of investments that they've made in their IT systems, but we want to enable them to move forward and move forward at the speed of the cloud. And we're well positioned to be able to provide that through SoftLayer, CMS, Bluemix, all the way up through our software as a service. So we really do have the broadest set of capability in the market. When you think about IBM Cloud, I think there's a couple advantages that we can bring for the enterprise, and one of them is the hybrid nature. Because, you know, whether you're building an application that's going out in mobile, or you're trying to build the next generation of inventory management system, you really want to be able to connect the data the business processes, all your business logic that you've got in your traditional systems or what we call systems of record to your new systems of engagement. No systems of engagement are things like mobile and all of the social. You want to be able to take all of that social information that's out there, combine it with the data that you have in premise and really come up with a, maybe a new way or new approach or a new product or service that you want to bring to the market. As an example, millennials love the fact that you can market to me as an individual. You know what I like, you look at my social data and you say, wow, I really like this product or service and here's an offer for that product or service. That's really getting to be a personalized experience as a consumer. And all of that's being enabled by social, by mobile, and by the cloud. Earlier this year, we formed a uh, cloud unit and the reason we put all of these pieces together and put a team together, we have to move with speed. The world is moving very, very quickly, and we're in what I call the second phase of the cloud. And the second phase of the cloud is all around the use of data and analytics, and really around business transformation. How do I transform the processes that drive my business? How do I transform the processes that my end user, whether it be an employee or a consumer or a client, is going to use? We really do have a great understanding of what is the next generation of the cloud. And we are going to have to move with speed. There's a lot of innovation that's going on out there. Some of it will come from IBM, some of it will come from the market. And our ability to pull it all together and help clients is going to be a huge advantage. So if I was to say there's one thing we've got to do well, we've got to execute on our strategy and do it with extreme speed. I think the cloud is bringing a set of capabilities that enables everyone and anyone to play. I have more access now to people around the world. Think about our access through our social networks. I have more access to data than I ever have before. I've got data not only the companies gather, but uh, things like Twitter and the Weather Channel. I have more data that I can analyze than ever before. And I've got the ability to bring others into my ecosystem. So before I'd have to come up with the idea in my own company, now I can come up with the idea in the large. Think about what we do with hackathons and how we get a lot of smart people together and they come up with new ideas. So now I don't have to spend all of my own money on building out the infrastructure. The infrastructure is out there in the cloud. So I get access to great ideas, I get access to resources, I get access to data, I get access to people. And when you start to make access that easy and ubiquitous, great ideas, great inventions, and things that can change the world will happen.